Hey everybody, Spatula here. Welcome to another Skate and Dog of Rat video. Uh, kind of a series where we're going to be looking at the best way to get through the maps, make as much money as you want without hopefully dying, and maybe getting a few cheeky chad kills on the way. This video is about Interchange, one of the best maps in the game for PvP and loot. As ever, if you like the video or the content, like and subscribe below. But with that out the way, let's crack on. So, I'm going to break down the map into little pieces. So this is the overview of the entire map. We'll then take a look close inside. There's actually quite a lot you can do outside the map. You can make a decent amount of cash there uh, without ever setting foot inside. And something to think about, uh, depending on how combat averse you are. Personally, I love the combat, and I come here specifically for PvP. I think it's better PvP map than Factory. Just the thought. But depending on where you spawn, there's a couple of very easy things you can do. Now, you've got the power station up in the northeast corner. Um, I'll put a little image of all that now. If you go in there, flick the power switch, it's just polite. It opens a internal uh, exit that needs to be powered. Um, it just Good etiquette on the map, so, so just do that. But in there as well, there's plenty of coats, there's plenty of toolboxes, there's a couple of computers, good place to look, okay? Very high traffic, beginning of the raid, but towards the end, it's fine. Um, interestingly, there is a container here. I'll put the key up now. It is on top of some containers. And if the place is powered, you can, so if someone's flipped the switch in power station, you can access this and it is full of weapons loot. It's a brilliant place to go, but you need it to be powered. So, a bit of a talk off, give and take here. You flip the switches when you're on the rug side of the map for the container for people who are down there, and you hope people do the same, vice versa. Okay, so it's one for the talk off gods that, but in there, some fantastic, fantastic loot, well worth it. Um, you've got a scout checkpoint here, which I've drawn over, which has got a uh, number of places to hunt and kill scabs. Some very, very good stuff as well. Round here, near the southeast section, so this is the Emicon spawn, and this is the uh, railway spawn. You have a tank there on the corner, and by the sandbags there's a weapons crate. You also have a little red bag on the outside here, which is always worth going. It's on the left on the wall, just past the car. Um, I have found Rolexes in there. I know it's a world spawn, but you know. Um, and then there are a number of secure stashes kind of battered about in there. I won't put the direct locations because it makes the map a little bit too busy, but take a look. Now, depending on where you spawn, you're either going to want to go in one of a couple of ways. In through here, there is a loading bay you can get in. That's also a good exit. Or, frankly, there's a side door here. Or if you're feeling adventurous, just go straight in the front door. I mean, why mess about with it? There are a number of underground parking spaces. Um, it's a bit of a maze. There's not a huge amount down there that's worth it, except other PMCs. So just avoid it, in my opinion. And that's the outside. Let's have a look inside. So this is the inside, so you can see the building. Uh, one of the entrances that I was looking at was there, and the one was coming through here, and that was the other one. So it's literally just the super boss on top. This is the uh, main floor, and this is the uh, top floor. Okay, that's technically floor one, but top floor. So, as a rat, one of the best places you want to be looking down is this entire back wall. Yeah, all around there, there was loads of um, rackings and shelves and all sorts there. But around this whole blue area here, at the bottom, let's do a slightly better colour. This whole area around here, you'll find fuel canisters, um, you'll find uh, motors, you'll find filters, the blue ones, which are worth quite a lot. And you can make a lot of money just looking in that area. It's really nice. Um, there's an office up here in the top. Yep, 
depending on where you spawn. There's some decent stuff there. If you've got the keys for the uh, cash register, a lot there, but uh, you know, a little bit dangerous. Um, but these are the two main areas you want to be thinking about hitting. So it depends on where you spawn, uh, but typically I try and get in through the idea side, which is the blue side, and out through the ollie side, depending on your extract. If you're a scab, you can always go through ollie. Now there's a couple of places you also want to hit in here. This whole little room here, and I'll put a little bit of footage up on it now, is full of loot. There's a coat, there's two coats actually, there's four filing cabinets, and then assorted loot on shelves and in boxes. It's almost always never touched because people are going all the way down here to get into Kiba. Um, if you're playing as a scav and it's late in the raid, it's always worth a look because they never take everything. But, you know, depends what you're after. This place here is fantastic. There's also this little sex shop here next to the stairs, which has a high spawn chance of GPUs. You've also got this tech shop here, which also has a high spawn chance of technical loot and GPUs. So you've got three nicely located areas here with a lot of loot. This is, I've never seen a lot of PMC in there, ever. These two, you will get more foot traffic, okay? Um, and then you have the stairs here, which pop up here, which bring you to tech light, which again, hugely profitable area if you get there early raid and then you have the pharmacy there which you can find ledx is low source but you need a key and that's basically it for our app point of view now assuming you started on the other side you want to be looking at basically doing this route hop into that round i swing through there have an assess there because there can often be combat and people present so then you can either pop in there or down in to Ollie. Now, depending on again what you see, what's going on. Obviously, if you're a scav, just carry on. If you're a PMC, have a good look. If it's too dangerous, you can nip out across, out through the loading bay, and then we're out on the uh, one of the entrances we showed on the previous one. Or, more preferably, you go down there, do all the back shelves, and then go out. Yeah. So it's a nice profitable little loop that works really well for me i make on average as a scav if i'm doing this as a scav i'll make on average two three hundred minimum um depending on what you find in the filing cabinets in here i have made best part of 800k run which is bossing about uh, if you're doing as a pmc you've got a lot more you can do and you're better equipped so you can be a bit more adventurous but that's basically it from a rap point of view. Hitting room one, two, three, back of volley, then out. Um, makes me loads of money. You can do the run in about 10, 12 minutes. And then you're just making bank. Really good. Really recommend it. Give it a go. Now, there's something else I want to talk to you about while we're here. And that is PvP. Interchange is a phenomenal map for PvP. Um, if you pick the engagement yourself, I've never lost a fight, all right? If you get ambushed, you're usually dead on other maps, right? Here, there's usually cover you can get to and do something about it. So say you've got a tango here, you're just making your way all the way around there quite happily. You see someone, maybe they fire some shots at you, maybe they uh, just let themselves know. You've got a lot of options. You could, if you so wanted, nip through, get around the side. You can also nip across, and then you've got angle on them there or you've got an angle on them up through there more sneakily you can loop around da -da 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 -da, and you've got one angle there or if you're being particularly devious which i always encourage you can get around them there now, of course they're going to be doing things that it's unlikely that they're going to be stood there waiting for you to go but there is kind of behaviors you can do to make them want to push you which makes it easier to get around which i'll cover in another video You've always got options. You've always, always got options. The other thing about this map is it is built for ambushes. Honestly, just built for ambushes. Uh, so on the inside, anywhere around here is a murder zone. 
people coming up and down from there you've got multiple lines of sights below or above brilliant and you know people are going to want to get to Kiba and they're going to want to get to this area here because that's where killer likes to play all right so this whole area is really high traffic and you can just park yourself anywhere and wait for people to come up and kill them brilliant other thing ollie again is a great place for ambushes you can sit here and you've got great sight lines of people trying to get out really really good um this side the idea is less favorable because they've got plenty of places they can go as well in here you've got medical it's harder to fight there i don't know what it is about this area i think it's because it's slightly more open so you know this is the upper level so medicals below here it's a little bit more difficult so i tend to avoid it but this whole area here this kill field across here and then anywhere on the back brilliant ambush points so bear that in mind when you're looting and that's it very short video it's one of those maps that it's worth running a lot of times to kind of figure out where things are going to drop where things are going to spawn but seriously folks the amount of money you can make on this level is phenomenal and when you're looking for those rare items for missions especially tech ones it's really worth having a look um and again don't be afraid to go in dressed for bear and try and take on some guys as well i have come out of that map with so much loot it is not funny from killing pmcs okay I think the record was i killed eight in a raid pmcs scabs on top uh two of them with three man squats all because i had good positioning i covered the angles and they just walked straight towards me all right so think about it as ever like and subscribe on the video below if you like it and then we will see you guys next time thanks for watching bye bye